Hey everybody and welcome back to the Emory Security YouTube channel. My name is Evan Isaac and today we'll be looking at section 3 of the API Security 2024 CTF. In this episode, we're going to be looking at insecure runes section from the CTF. If you missed parts one and two, be sure to check them out in the description down below. Let's get started. So in the prompt, it says, looks like the orc devs are back to working for the mages. Unfortunately, some of the mages are complaining about rune references being mixed up. It's been said that there's a secret way to access the flag, but we've yet to find it. And there's a target URL here, so we'll head on over to it. And it looks like there is one endpoint that we're going to be working with, which is rune create. We have the post method, and here are the parameters that we're going to need to use. So let's uh, head on over to the terminal, and we're going to do a curl command, tack x for method, and we'll put post here. We will copy over this URL, paste it in, and we'll also add the rune create. We'll also add attack d for data, and we'll supply it with the JSON data that we need to put in. So in our case, it'll be rune, colon, and then some random stuff. We'll just put test for now. In addition to that, because we're using an API, most of the time APIs are going to need a content type, whether it be application JSON or application X da, 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 form URL encoded. In our case, we already know that it's going to be JSON due to the fact that in the description of supply, it says the rune with squiggly brackets indicating JSON. So we'll do content type and then we'll do application JSON. And when we submit it, we could see that test is not defined and this looks to be a Python error. So we could try a few different things with this. We could try to just see if maybe we could type in rune, rune is not defined. Maybe we could type in Emory security also not really working. Maybe there's some form of XSS payload that we need to play around with. Maybe there's something in the back end where a bot is trying to log in and we need to retrieve something. And it looks like the rune is too long. So we have here that whenever we supply something and it's not defined, we get an error message. But if we supply something that is a bit lengthy, we also get rune too long. So there's a few things that you can do when it comes to Python, specifically APIs, is you always test for SSRFs, SSTIs, stuff like that. So we can try Jinja2 SSTI or server-side template injection. So if we do seven times seven, we could see that your rune is 49. So it looks like we are getting something having to do with SSTI. I'm not really sure what it is, but we do get 49, seven times seven is 49, meaning that there's something going on in the back end. Maybe it's executing something in the back end, it's evaluating something in the back end, but it's safe to assume something is going on. We can go over to something called Payload All the Things, and this is a fantastic GitHub where you can find a bunch of different attacks. In our case, we're going to be looking for SSTI. So let's scroll down a little bit until we see server-side template injection. And they have a few here. We're going to select Python because we know that it's most likely going to be a Python server in the back end. And we see that there's basic injections. So we could try this basic injection config item and let's just see if anything works. Let's see if we paste it in config is not defined. All right. Maybe we have to remove the squiggly brackets. We see that config is still not defined. All right. Let's try a different payload. And let's see if this works and rune is too long. So obviously this is not the path. We're not going to be looking at SSTI. This is obviously something is something is wrong with it. So we'll head on back over here and let's just try something as basic as flag. And we see it says result is nice try. So this is something different that we haven't seen before. Maybe we could do flag exclamation point. No. How about flag? double exclamation point and we get an invalid syntax error so that's not it maybe we got to remove one and we still get the string line one is invalid remember how i said something about evaluation injection or you know code injection something along those lines so let's take a look at some command injection attacks so we'll look up command injection payload all the things and when we go over to the command injection we see that there's a bunch of different ways to bypass so we'll click on one of them and we'll see what happens here. So we can do a dollar sign with squiggly brackets and then IFS. We'll see if this works. Maybe we could put it in the middle and it looks like we get invalid syntax. So that's obviously not it. So let's try the at sign. Let's see if we can maybe get something here. If we put the at sign instead of flag, we'll do flag with an at sign. Maybe it needs that obfuscation and it does remove the at sign, which means the at sign is valid but we only get FLG, there's no A. So let's put the A back 
and we see that we obtain the flag api sec the devs are orcs so another way to obtain the flag is by using something called the global variable which is a built-in function in python so if we type in globals and then we put in parentheses we could see that a bunch of different variables are being sent back to us we have the routes we have a bunch of different things we have the file structure of where everything is located and we see here that there is the flag. Another fun thing that you could do within it is you can do underscore underscore and then file. And this will give you the exact path of where the application is being stored on the back end, which is also kind of a neat trick. I wish I could see the code so we can walk through the code together, but I don't have the code. So let's copy this flag and let's paste it into our notes. Here are the next set of challenges that you can begin the soar on firewall. These were very interesting, a little bit challenging, so take your time with them. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Discord, LinkedIn, or in the comments section. But best of luck on trying out these challenges. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.